they're looking for drivers to take care of they 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 equipment you know but sometimes looking for those particular drivers to take care of the equipment don't always come to fruition because you know you get those type of drive you get those i don't care drivers like i i don't care about you you know i mean i i care about you because i was over here trying to get with you so i can drive your truck now that i'm driving your truck i i i don't care about you now whatever the feeling that that particular truck driver has after he gets in the truck and after he gets with you you know that's a whole nother story that that's a whole nother story a whole nother side that we haven't heard of maybe maybe something happened and nobody ain't talking about it but when the owner operator comes out and shows you guys or show you the reason you know why they truck is so beat up and and not being taken care of and you know it's it's hard for them to to find somebody it's like they spending it's like they spending more money to to to, to put their truck back together than finding somebody to make money for them you know it's every time every turn every turn with these with these owner operators that that find these guys off of youtube off of TikTok, off of indeed and then you know they they come crying to them like oh i need a job i've been following you i like what you do you look like a good guy and i want to mess with you and yada 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 and then you give that person the opportunity to drive the truck they're not taking care of it. they're not pre-tripping it they're not pro stripping it they're not you know they're not putting the oil in they're not putting the the the, the uh cooling in they're not keeping no no uh windshield washing fluid in you know they they just not doing what they need to do to take care of the truck they just get in the truck start it up and 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 roll that truck until the wheels fall off and they they don't call the the owner operators to be like hey you know i need this for the truck this is what's going on with the truck nah the truck breaks down and the driver gets in their feelings because they're not making no money because the truck is broke down but the, the truck broke down because you the truck driver not taking care of it simple precautions like checking the oil every day or checking the coolant every day or if you see something out of the out of the ordinary you'll you'll you should call the owner operator and be like hey i i think there's going to be a, pro, a foreseeable problem coming in the future maybe we need to you know get ahead of this before it becomes a major problem they don't do that they don't do that you know so despite whether you know whether the owner operator happens to be a popular youtuber or or some type of social media as a specialado you know it's still the fact of the matter is that they can't find good drivers to drive their trucks you know and now once they come out there and they say something about it they'll prop the other guy the driver to come and say oh well you wasn't paying me or 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 I, I I wasn't getting paid for some odd reason. It's all it all boils down to the money. Obviously, you you chose to drive for the money that you that that you guys agreed upon. So if the agreed upon money, 60, 70, 75, or a percentage was agreed upon, you chose that. You know, you you chose that agreed upon amount and they put they they put they trust in you driver to take care of they truck and make money they did not put they trust in you for you to sit in their truck and you pocket watch their pockets no they put their trust in you so you can drive their truck to make money on the agreed upon amount that you agree that's you 
How you gonna come back and say, oh well, the money wasn't right and and they wasn't paying me and this, that, and the third? You agreed upon the money that you agreed upon. So obviously you was getting paid right. Now I can understand that probably might be some issues in the front office of getting paid. I I I, I probably could understand that because you gotta understand this. The owner operator, if you don't give that owner operator the paperwork, that's why that's why it's so important to turn in the paperwork, whether you work for a big company, well, no, whether you work for an owner operator, because a big company, if you don't turn in the paperwork, you're gonna get paid regardless. But if you don't turn that paperwork into the owner operator at the at the correct time, for that owner operator to get paid how do you expect to get paid if you don't turn in that paperwork that's another thing people don't seem to understand either like if you don't turn in that paperwork if that owner operator said hey after you make the delivery make sure you you uh what, what is it scan the scan thing at the truck stops or whatever make sure you scan in the paperwork or take a picture and send me a copy of the of the bill of lading with the signature so that i can make sure that you get paid because if you don't if i don't get paid you don't get paid that's that's how this works that's how this works my job is to get loads for you your job is to take care of the truck and get turn the paperwork in so that I can make sure that you get paid. Now, if you inspecting the paycheck at the end of Friday, that following week, I have to have that paperwork in before the week so I can send to them because everything takes time. Everything, everything takes steps. I got a time frame to get into them, just like you got a time frame to get into me. So if I don't get it in on that time frame, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get paid on time, which trickles down to you not getting paid on time. That's that, that's how this works. And if you don't get paid in on time, then what's that going to do for the following loads? That means it's going to get backed up. And then that's going to be a problem for not only me, the only op owner operator, but it's going to be a problem for you, the driver, because now everybody's getting paid late. But for you, the driver, you're going to get into your feelings because you're getting paid late or not getting paid. And now you're going to feel some kind of way towards that YouTuber or social media aficionado. Now you're going to talk bad about them because you didn't do the part. You didn't do your part. Now you're going to talk bad about them. Now you're going to drive their truck any old kind of way now you're not going to take care of the truck you're going to you're going to you're going to leave their truck in in atlanta knowing that you got to bring the truck back to ohio and then after that after that you're gonna you you're gonna turn around and be like oh well I, i'm not messing with you no more because i'm not getting paid well you're not getting paid because of the fact that you 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 didn't do your part it, it all boils down to parts man and if and if you drivers don't seem to understand that with with owner operators out here then y'all just making yourselves and the owner operators look bad now it's just now for these young owner operators out here that's really trying to find somebody to to, to, to take care of their trucks and to to drive their trucks so they can so the owner operator can continue to build off that success it's just not going to work 
because now you you and your feelings about that owner operator and now here it is you just you know you just say fuck them pretty much owner operators if you follow me and all like that let me know your stories because i i talked to a few owner operators that had issues like hers you know that don't that don't take care you know drivers that don't take care of their trucks drivers not doing what they supposed to and all like that i want to hear your stories let me know in the comments below big g's got it locked boy want you to love me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real wet yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and yeah, don't make a sound and i want you to miss me when i'm not around come dive in my ocean for my push. my love is like lotion it's all over you you all over me cause you my little boo how many times i gotta tell you don't fuck around cause they got you insecure